Well, I'm going to actually show you my uh, new uh, chain grinder, but I thought I'd show you a little bar maintenance first. I just, uh, it's a brand new bar, so it won't be too dirty, but you get this built up here. If you look, right there will be your oiler. You will, will want to make sure and get that clean, but I'll blow the gunk out of the bar first. find those little ones. It's your oiler holes. We get those cleaned out so that bar is good. And while it's off, it's a brand new saw, so it's awful clean. Now, swing you over here. It's my brand new grinder. It's an Oregon Bench Chain Grinder Model 410-120. So, I read through the manual and basically it'll give you different types of grinds that you want. Micro chisel, round ground chisel, semi chisel, ripping chain, chamfer chisel, semi chisel three quarter and chipper three quarter. So, and it gives you different chain types but it gives you most of your settings. So this one's going to be set at 55 uh, for a semi chisel, zero degree here, um, 30 degrees down here for this one, and we'll use the 1 8 stone. And the profile still looks good on it, I've done a few chains, and then the part you have to set up is the depth so to get a tooth going the right way actually I'll just turn that off clamp it in that needs to come back quite a ways and just a touch This is almost, a, this is a brand new chain, so it's looking like the stock grind on it is a little closer to 25 for the semi-chisel. But I'd prefer it to be 30. So we'll take our time here. And then we actually need to give it a little twist or two forward. And you can set the depth stop if you. If you want mine, you know, I guess it would be recommended, but I kind of like to set that 
after I uh, get my first tooth. So we got that first tooth ground and what's important when you're grinding a chain, this is my first grinder, but uh, you know plenty of others that do it is go slow. You don't want to heat the chain up. See, so now that I've got my first tooth, I can just back it, pull this down and then just back it right up and set my deck. Now I just unlock lock this. And I'll do all the teeth on this this side. corner there so and this is a 32 inch chain so that was a few teeth I'll show you on this one. See, I am going real slow. Just... Zero discoloration, but this is what I want to show you. You know, it's warm, but it's not hot. I can hold my finger on it. No discoloration, so, you know, you want to heat it up as little as possible. And this one's, I got a feeling, will will be a, a little bit longer. It's the first time I, I've ground this chain. I uh, actually got this on Father's Day, which was Sunday, and today's Tuesday night, so I've only had it a couple days, but I was out here grinding chain Sunday. And I did use one that I ground and cut some firewood yesterday. So it could use touched up and I'm curious to see. I think it's going to go a lot faster. Yeah, and I've done a few extra chains that I have. And I actually pulled all the bars and chains off every saw but my climbing saw. Uh, so I guess that's four of them, and I'm going to grind them all up, put them back on, and do the riders. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you probably this most of this whole chain, and then uh, the chain that I'm touching up, it's a 25-inch one that I've already done once, and then I'll show you how to, I do my riders, too.
and that's that and the other thing too is that it came equipped with this little little guide for shaping evidently that's the depth gauge actually has a file guide too tooth length yeah there's there's some uh, you know, this is kind of tight going over but it still looks profiled it seems to be holding it really well so go the other way here and just loosen this off let me just hold on just over there so there we're at zero yeah sorry for the crappy camera work guys There we go. We'll get it set to 30. Lock it in. Then we'll be going this way. for the the other tooth and that looks about the right distance so we'll lock that in doing this just unlock that then you can pull this side or just push this side and you go over the first tooth which goes the other way but you got to watch that a chain will have two teeth on one side in a row sometimes where the chain the master link is but which is actually right here if you see those two teeth so then you just get it till the tooth on the side you want comes up and you pull it back against this Lock it down. Bring your grinder down. Let's get two of that time because, like I said, two on the one side.
we go. That's one chain done. Don't know if I'll have room to do the, the riders on here. I can always just do it on the chain, but I thought I'd give it a try. And the other thing I thought I'd note was the wheel wasn't on there. You just take this, this, uh, let's take you out of here. Let's move it around a little bit. So the wheel wasn't on there. You just take uh, one screw right there off, one screw right there, includes the Allen. Put your own wheel on there. And if you read, it tells you, you you lightly tap it, make sure the wheel's sound, visually inspect it. The only other thing was this was turned straight in like that, and this wasn't attached. So to attach this, there's a nut right in there you just put that in and then this is just a pin and that holds it on and you just back this way off until this is loose enough to get over this bump right here so there's a stud that just sits in there and that that seemed pretty straightforward but let me go ahead and take this chain off So this was turned all the way in there. I don't feel like taking this off. So uh, that wasn't on. So you just loosen this up until you can make your make your turn in there. That's all there is to it. Actually, let's see. This is the type depth gauge well, I've been grinding on that. Uh, I like to use. Don't know. Yeah, it's. gonna be pretty awkward I prefer to do that on the bar for sure so that one's done Let's get the 25 inch in here. There we go. All oh, that explains that. I was thinking I was going crazy there for a minute. It's like nothing's working out. Come on. Got that, you know, camera crazy was like uh, thinking I was all goofing up, which I was. I didn't even have my angle set. Now, see, this one has been ground a bit more. Well, I ground it once and it was a pretty used chain already. So, uh, just that in. There we go.
Because this one's already been ground once. So, it goes quite a bit faster. Yes, it's kind of kind of hard to compare. You can't really. They're not apples to apples. Yeah, they're both saw chains. But uh, I'll show you one. What is this one called? Skip tooth, I think. You got a tooth, two links, and a tooth. That was the 32 we just did. We always called these a full comp. You have a tooth, a link, a tooth. So there's actually more teeth on this one. go it's all done so now you just loosen this messed up on those ones I should have Just this back, the riders will even them out. I was trying to do it the same size as the other side. Thought that one had a little nick or something on it, but just a little flick of dirt. Okay, and that's it for that one. And I suppose I might just end up making a whole grinder video and then maybe make a rider video. I don't know.
So what's this one here? Well, this is an 18 or I think it might be a 20 inch. This is a skip tooth. Pretty new chain. First time grinding. That tooth is a little beat up. That one's found a rock. that back off a little go that side's done kick her to 30 May as well check. Ah, oh, this looks like it could actually use dressed. So. It's probably not the safest thing to do, but. There we go. Nice profile. That looks about right there.
go. That one's done. 